Hello and welcome. In this video, we will explain how you can create a histogram in Excel. A histogram is a graph that aims to represent the underlying distribution of a sample of data. This way, you can detect certain characteristics of the data, for example, outliers, skewness, kurtosis, and so on. On this sheet, we have 5,000 observations of the height of students at a local university. We are interested in the underlying distribution of this dataset, so we will create a histogram. To do this, you select all observations, navigate to insert, select insert statistic chart and click on histogram. A histogram of the data appears on the screen. We will put this graph at the top of the screen by pressing Ctrl X, scrolling upwards and pressing Ctrl V. First, we choose a chart title by selecting a title and typing histogram of students heights. The bins that Excel chose are rather small, so we will alter this on our chart. To do that, you double click on the X axis to open the format axis. Here we make sure that the three bars menu is selected. We then check bin width and type whatever bin width you like. We go for five, so that's what we enter into the text box. The bins are adjusted as we want. What you can remark here is that the last bin, 169 till 201, is empty. We will change this by defining the exact cutoff points for the first and last bin. You can do this by checking the overflow and underflow bin and typing the cutoff points you want. Here we choose 195 and 150. You can further customize the chart to your needs. You can, for example, change the color of the histogram increase the gap width, or rather remove the gaps between the bars. To do that, you double click on the histogram, then the format data series menu opens. Under the three bars icon, you can increase or decrease the gap width. To increase it, you click on the up arrow. As you can see, the bars become smaller and the width between them increases. We set the width back to zero and navigate to the paint bucket icon. Here we can open the fill menu and choose the color we want. We go for orange. Next, to remove the gaps between the bars, you can color the borders. This can be done under border. We select solid line and choose the color orange again. Other customization can be added to the data in this format data series menu. You can add more in the same way as we have shown for the color, borders and gap width. This concludes our tutorial on how to construct a histogram in Excel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.